Ah, one, two, three, four. Hello, friends. This is Pastor Brian Wolfmuller grappling with the text, and I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. I really appreciate uh, all of the support, the kind words, uh, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, and listening and engaging in the conversation uh, with grappling with the text. So I made you a Christmas card. Uh, we're going to grapple through the text uh, from Luke and rejoice in the kindness of our Lord Jesus at this season. Uh, I want to wish you and your families a Merry Christmas, etc. So we're in Luke chapter 2, and, um, and we read this. This is going to be about the shepherds in the field. This is absolutely wonderful. In the same region, that is Bethlehem, there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. The Lord seems to have a thing for shepherds. It's really quite wonderful. David was a shepherd. Moses was a shepherd. Amos was a shepherd. Now, the shepherds that have these caves and have their flocks all around uh, Bethlehem, four miles southwest of Jerusalem, the Lord is going to appear to them. Probably, if we were to... Just list the most, the least likely people to get a message from the Lord on Christmas Eve. It might be the shepherds, but here it is. They're out in the field at night, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear, which is what always happens whenever uh, the angels appear to anyone. They are afraid. And so the angel says the first thing that angels also always have to say, Don't be afraid, for behold... I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Now, now the news, the angel is bringing good news. This is gospel. Um, and, and, and look at this. I bring you. Now, dear friends, uh, this is the great thing about Christmas. Luther says these shepherd, these uh, angels were the best preachers because look, the, uh, the, the good news is for you and for all people. It's good news of great joy for unto you is born in this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, Son of God, Son of Man, two natures in Christ, and he's born to save us from our sins. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Now, here is the sublime preaching of the angels. All theology is delivering glory and comfort. And it's glory to God and comfort to us. Any false uh, doctrine is going to steal a little glory for us, and that steals away the comfort. But the true, uh, the true gospel, the true doctrine, is always going to give all glory to God and all comfort to sinners. Glory to God in the highest and peace among those with whom he's pleased. So the angels went away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste. They weren't sitting around. And they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. Now, dear friends, uh, may this comfort be yours, that this child... <laughs> That, the, that lay in the lap of Mary, uh, held in the arms of Joseph, that this child is Christ the Lord, that this child is the Savior, and that this child is born for you. He's crucified and buried for you. He lived and reigned, he lives and reigns for you. And this is our greatest Christmas joy. It's not the, it's not the presents that we unwrap, but in fact, that God himself wrapped himself up in our humanity, so that he might die on the cross to give us the gift of life. So Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for watching Grappling with the Text. It's really uh, quite an honor uh, to come to you each week. We're going to take a little break for Christmas uh, and uh, do a little traveling. In fact, if you want to uh, say a prayer, uh, I'll be in uh, Taiwan uh, for uh, a week or so uh, teaching over there, and then we'll be back into it in the new year. Uh, Merry Christmas, and God's peace be with you. <laughs>